products grown in Georgia are all around us, with a geographic range stretching from the coastal plains to the Appalachian Mountains, Georgia boasts an agricultural diversity second to none. The following profile is one of Georgia's products that proudly calls itself Georgia Grown. As the lush green orchards begin to bear their fruit in late summer, it's almost impossible to resist the urge to begin filling up a basket. On this episode of Georgia Grown, we'll visit the slightly cooler climate of North Georgia for the harvest of a fruit that has been enjoyed for thousands of years, the apple. Georgia is really one of the oldest states at growing apples of any of the states. Although we don't grow a lot of apples, we started way back in the 1800s. Part of it is our soil here in the mountains. Uh, it's a good uh, clay loam type soil that grows a good tasting apple. And on most years we have cool nights and warm days which gives the apple the quality you want. Apple production earned its important place in Georgia agriculture in the early 1920s. The established orchards of northern counties bolstered the farming economy as the bow weevil swept through the Georgia cotton fields. Because of our long growing season, we can pick apples here from say mid-July to mid-November. That allows us to grow many, many varieties of apples. We do this so that at any time during the apple season, you have a multiple variety selection. Uh, variety is the spice of life and we want everyone to have a lot of choice. Unlike most seasonal crops which are planted and harvested within the year, the apple trees must be nurtured for several years before they begin to yield fruit. When we plant the tree, we're waiting from three to five years to start harvesting apples. So it's about a six to seven year process from the time you decide you want to plant a piece of ground until you begin to pick fruit off of that piece of ground. We're replanting about 5% of the orchard every year so that over a 20 year period, we've pretty well recycled our trees. Oddly enough, the apple is related to the rose and the science of apple growing is called palmology. But as fall approaches, Georgians are much more interested in apple feelings than apple facts. There's something about uh, October that makes people want to get outdoors and come to the mountains and uh, they're thanking apples. Then we get to see those faces of people who come back year after year and to get their favorite apple and they bite into it and they've got the right expression and that's what makes it worthwhile.